Hey, what's good y'all? Joshua Mallard here. And for those of you that don't know me, I'm a composer. But wait, I'm also a producer. That's kind of where things all started and where things got pretty complicated, but it's all about how I got my first gig. And I'm gonna tell you about that today. Before we dive in though, please subscribe and leave a comment below on what you wanna see next. I'm coming out with three videos a week, so a ton of content, and it's all about making beats, music composition, mixing and mastering, and other topics in music. Anyways, let's get right into this. Okay, so one day, this was way before I was making a ton of beats. I'd barely been making beats, but I was composing a lot of music. And I was on that grind trying to find projects to work on, looking for film directors, game developers, ensembles to work with, you name it. And one day I get a DM from a friend saying, hey, Josh, I know you're looking for gigs. I saw this dude on Reddit and they needed music for their film. I'm thinking, ooh, here we go. I can throw my hat in the ring and maybe get a quick gig. So I go to the post and the person's like, hey, I'm looking for beats to place in my film. And I'm like, okay, I haven't made a lot of beats, to be honest. I wasn't that good at making them at the time. and. I mean, that's really all there was to it. I was really hesitant to say, okay, maybe I should do this. But I actually went through with it and I was thinking, you know, there's this whole avenue for producers and composers alike to expand their skill sets and basically multiply the amount of gigs that they can get. So I did take this gig. It was my first placement as both a composer and a producer. So using that, I really got my start in both parts of the industry. This could be super helpful. I wouldn't show you the music today though, because like I said, it was a while back. I would have mixed it differently, made it differently. I don't want to incriminate myself in this video, but what's that mean for us? Well, if you're a producer, there's all of these opportunities. Maybe you should be looking for film directors. Maybe they're not looking for orchestral music and stuff that composers are usually making. Maybe they want some modern, clean beats, EDM, hip hop, whatever you name it. It might have use in films, TV shows, commercials, games, or other things. That means maybe you can check out subreddits like I did. I think it was like making hip hop or music makers but I don't always recommend checking out, you know, social media for stuff like that. Cause a lot of times these people <laughs> are not worth your time, literally. Like they're gonna pay you really poorly. They're gonna treat you poorly. But as you do get your clout up, you might have a reputation and start finding people who are really high quality online. People who really care about the work that you're doing and the work that they're doing. That being said, there are some gems out there like the one I got. It was still one of my well-paying gigs compared to even today, um, especially for the short amount of music that I had to do for it. But maybe you should also check out music libraries. Music libraries are all about taking your music and placing it in those kinds of things. So they take your music and they have a music supervisor and they're looking for good beats and stuff, good clients and everything. They want to place your music as much as you want to place your music. And when they do, you get money from that. You either get um, an upfront fee or you might, well, you'll definitely get royalties in the long term. Royalties will pay out to you over time. And if you get enough stuff placed, this could be a good stream of income that's sort of passive, sort of not passive. But maybe I'll do an in-depth video on that, but it's definitely something you can look up. For composers, that means there's this whole other skill set you can tap into of making beats and finding these clients that are actually looking for stuff that's a bit different than, you know, the hybrid stuff, the orchestral stuff. Um, something that you can really get into and maybe get more gigs from it. So definitely a helpful thing to think about and some food for thought for anyone trying to find their first placement out there. 
It goes both ways though. Maybe producers can get into making some orchestral stuff. I definitely think working in DAWs is super helpful. And if you can already use FL Studio, there's no reason why you can't also jump into doing MIDI mockups and learning some music theory to do composition. And if you're composing in DAWs already, there's no reason why you can't, you know, get some drum kits and figure out how to put a beat together. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope it helped you out. This is how I got my start and it might be how you can get your start too. It's not always thinking about artists and not always thinking about, you know, placing your orchestral score in a film. There might be some crossover. Anyways, go ahead and subscribe, leave a comment below on what you want to see next, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.